see this is my 1984 Chevy Diesel. It's a 6.2 Suburban. You can see that nothing has been done to the engine. It's all stock, no modifications, no nothing here. This is all stock. This truck runs on pure vegetable oil. And it's the oil that I filter. It doesn't hinder the truck's performance, doesn't hinder the truck's power for pulling capabilities. I've been hauling these two quads around all day. I go riding all the time. It has got like a couple of quads on there, <clears throat> real buggy, so forth. Um, up and down hills, it's fine. The truck does get about 26 miles to the gallon because it's diesel. And this is the uh, 1984 6.2 Suburban. Uh, you might want to check into a newer model, you know, computers and so forth. But uh, my last truck that I ran on vegetable oil was a 1991 uh, Suburban four-wheel drive with a 6.2 engine. And that re ran really good also. That had over 300,000 miles on it. This one only has a little over 100,000 miles on it. So that's it. I'll start it up and let you hear it. Okay, it sounds like any other diesel. Not making any horrible noises. Uh, diesels are pretty noisy anyways. But runs just fine no clanking like I say this is running on pure vegetable oil you could you could do a different ratio 50 50 it doesn't really matter the ratio it's still you're saving on on your diesel so it's seven dollars for five gallons of vegetable oil that's filtered isn't too bad of a deal considering what diesel is going for right now. So just even throwing five gallons in with your diesel is going to stretch your diesel out. Okay, this is how I filter the oil. This is all used vegetable oil from restaurants. Restaurants call me, I go pick it up, um, bring it to my house, in my garage here, and filter it. I use a filtration system that I built, so there was some cost involved here, investing in different things. Um, it goes through a cloth, a 10 micron cloth uh, bag, and it filters down kind of like a, an automatic drip coffee pot. Pour it in this top tub, it goes through here into the filter, so there's some filtering right now, and then it goes right into this big tub here, and I drain the final product right out of there into a five gallon container, which I charge $7 for, for one of those. So if you wanna come down, of course you can do this yourself, but you gotta realize uh, when you pick this stuff up, nobody's gonna give you just one five gallon container. They're gonna tell you to take all of it. And so you gotta take the good with the bad. So I have some stuff that I can't filter. Um, I use the stuff that I can filter. So it's not all as easy as maybe you might think, but there is a little bit of effort here and uh, some labor involved so um, you know like I say anybody can do this it's not very hard to do but uh, I have it already done I get a lot of oil I have more than I can handle my truck has a 42 gallon tank okay this is the you get it the before is in these here there's one there it hasn't settled all the way in the middle there um, here's a couple buckets here it's kind of hard to tell how terrible it does look in these buckets but this is the finished product. And this is what it looks like when it comes out. Get this. Hopefully you'll be able to see how, how nice it is and maybe how clear it comes out. Move this around a little bit. Okay, here we go. This is the after. This is the way I put it right in my truck. And it comes out like this. And that's how nice it looks. That's filtered, that's all ready to go. Take that, pour it right in my truck, and I run it pure. Some people mix it with diesel, you can do 50 50, you can do any ratio you want. I run it pure, sometimes I put some diesel on my truck, but that's the finished product right there. Okay, you can see how nice it comes. That's the clean filtered oil. I'm gonna bring it out here to the truck. Okay, here's the 
prove that I really do run this in my truck. Pure vegetable. It's right in my tank. You can do this with, uh, you know, it mixes really good with diesel. You can run a 50 50, you can run more oil than diesel or less oil. Doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm not, I usually run it pure. This truck is a 42 gallon tank. And uh, actually, with this 5 gallon, sorry, it will be full. I kind of take the headache out of filtering the oil. Somebody wants to come down and get a five or ten gallons. I'll sell you five gallons of filtered oil. Pretty just much, pretty basic, pretty much basically co uh, covers my labor and my leg work, and uh, I can get it used up. And that's that.